think the most exciting and inspiring part of what I'm doing now is being such everyday direct impact part of building something. I mean, we just bought a brick and mortar technical center here. We are literally filling an empty building, you know, building up a prototype shop, a, you know, testing lab and in our customer base here now. We have a established aftermarket customer base. We're looking, you know, and working to grow our OE side of the business. So it's it's, it's all growth, right? And and all mm-hmm. all new. Things happen very quickly. Decisions have to be made very quickly and very extremely agile environment versus you used a great word, you know, the bureaucracy of a larger international corporation, right? Like those decisions, where you spend money, how you combine things, even to the point of, are you following a corporate standard? And are you, you know, all of those things kind of, we're defining those now. So versus living within those walls, we're defining, do we even want walls? Or, you know, what things do we need to define and what what don't we? So it's exhilarating. It's also honestly some days terrifying because, you know, you're, it is all change. I'm an extremely organized person by nature. So learning to and challenging myself to adapt to this a bit. I don't I don't want to use uncertain from a business standpoint, but uncertain from what what is my day going to look like? Right. Uncertain that that uncertainty of, OK, I don't know when all my meetings are. I don't know what I'm all going to have to work on today. I don't know who's going to show up the door with a delivery. Um, I found that shipping companies aren't always very reliable on their schedules. Sometimes they just show up and want to drop off something, you know, and you figure it out. So having to really consciously challenge myself on how do you adapt and thrive in that environment, knowing it's what you want to do, but there's a natural environment everybody is best in. I think it is extremely rare, if not existent, that anyone's going to find a, a job that actually fits that, you know, on a, on a regular basis. Hopefully you hit your key points and can move forward. So, you know, from a leadership standpoint, I'm doing far less right now of direct management of individuals because what I'm leading and doing right now is building the business and the foundation for the people that that will come, right? So it's it's a completely different phase of leadership, probably more important in a lot of ways because what we're establishing now will set that tone and set that path to success for everyone that we do bring on as the team and for the business as we move forward, you know, in that, in that growth. 